Oh, it's you. You alone? Yeah, how you doing? Fucking great. What you think? Yeah, it's hard leaving with the past, huh? Yeah, especially when the presence turned into an asshole. <laughs> Fucking bitch. Nobody wants to roll with me no more. It's like I'm tainted. What do you mean? Playboy don't want to hang no more. He pays for you to come over instead. My girlfriend, the love of my fucking life. Man, I was pulling moves in the joint so this bitch could pay rent. Now she won't answer the phone. Man, I gave her everything when I was inside. Cars, houses, apartments, bank accounts, everything. Mm. I heard she hanging with Javon now. Who? Some punk who fucking talked. Swears he wasn't involved in me going down, but I knew. I knew his ass was lying. Now motherfuckers fucking my girl? Mm. For real? Shit is fucked up, man. Sometimes I just want to end this shit. Just bam. But I ain't there yet. Mm -mm. Not quite. Listen, why don't you go talk to her? Psh, ain't shit to say. Then I'll go speak to both of them. They'll ask for your money back, and if they don't agree, I'll make them. Where did they hang out? At some arcade in Chinatown. Uh, look, man, don't bother. No, I'll bother. I'm getting paid. And besides, you remind me of me. Uh-huh. Dwayne Forge when he was in the joint, he wants his money. What? Dwayne must have finished his bid. Shit. He gonna be mad angry. Me, I go box your head in. Ah! Dwayne don't need to worry about having that girl's blood on his hands on top of everything else. on that debt for you. 
They paid up? Guess my name still means something out there. People are still scared of me. They are. I got rid of Javon for you, but I let your ex go. That fool Charisse, she just couldn't help herself. She always told me she burned me good. Guess I should've listened. Happy she ain't dead, though. She just an idiot. Peace, man. the party. He stays out late the whole time. You know what he's like. Not on my watch, he don't. Something ain't right. Ladies, this is Roman Berlick. But I guess you already know that. Leave a message. Listen, I know what you must be thinking, but don't bother. I'm sorry, but I don't see how you know what I must be thinking. You've killed people. <sighs> you should be dead yourself. Or inside. You're just lucky it was me and not someone else who got their hooks into you. I'm sorry that I lied to you. <sighs> and, and weirdly, in some ways, you're a nice guy. Better than the creeps I normally date. But you're damaged goods. No doubt. Let's go. In here. Salute? Eat my ass, buddy. I'm up for the promotion, and you're not. What the hell are we doing here? We're going to meet someone. Sounds fun. You know, you and your cousin, you should get out. What you're looking for, you won't find. Feds are all over it. Crime is done. You've watched too many movies. Whatever you say, Michelle. Or whatever your name is. It's Karen. My name is Karen. Interesting. And you whore for the government. I kind of like the honesty in that. I have a clear conscience. How very lucky for you. <sighs> in here, Office 396. Hi there. Here he is. I can see that. Thanks, Karen. Hey, cheer up. You did good. You'll get a Sammy, if you care about that sort of thing. Thank you. So, Mr. Bellic, quite a file, quite a story. Who are you? If I be? If I be? Do I look homosexual? Do you think I care about the size of your Johnson? Now, you can't always tell who the good guys are. I'm not a good guy, but I'm fighting with them. And guess what? So are you. Hooray. That's the spirit. Nothing like a bit of sarcasm when someone's got you by the balls. Now, I need you to find something out for me. Find out everything you can about a man called Oleg Minkoff. He lives on Iroquois, back in Hove Beach. And if I say no? I hand your file over to those cretins in the FIB, and organized crime has dealt another serious blow. Go to his house. Any problems, call this number. Hmm. What's your name? Not relevant. Call me. Very soon. Go. Oh. And hey, welcome to America.
Pascala Stara Dejava. Bushka. Only one day after the internet. Can I use your vehicle a moment? What are you doing? Get on! So can you... Sorry, man. This is the close I can get you. Mr. Minkov? Anybody here? What have you got for me? Not much. He keeps a clean house, he's got a computer. Check his emails. Call back with any information that would indicate his current whereabouts. There's an email that says he's meeting someone at Tulsa Street in Hove Beach. Perfect. I'll send someone to pick up the hard drive. You go to Tulsa Street. Eliminate Minkoff. Whoa. Killing is very different from gathering information. You are acting in the interest of your new countrymen and keeping yourself out of prison. For once, this is a murder you don't have to feel confused about. Dispose of Minkoff. Then call me. Василий, спасибо, что пришел. Олег, ты испугал меня. Я даже подумал, что это человек. Посад... Все, он меня дожидался. Пока, братан. Piece. Wow, that sounds great, Brandon. Now, let's, let's take a quick break. We're going to be back with more of Brandon Roberts and gubernatorial candidate John Hunter. Minkoff is dead. The country is safe. Not by a long shot, smartass. Nothing is safe. No one is safe. Maybe something has been averted. Maybe delayed. I'll be in touch. Goodbye. This.
Forgive me, but I need this. Look at the look at these skirts. Look what they're wearing. Where you want to go? These things, and they don't want you to touch them. All of a sudden, a cop is after you. All of a sudden, their boyfriends are coming after you. Why? You want to show me parts of your body? I will touch. Nico, this shit went down with those guys in Bohan. Elizabeth is doing a bid. I think she might have killed Manny. Really? Good thing you haven't been hanging around with them too much. The shit is fucked up. I'm sorry for getting you involved. Don't worry about it. You've got enough on your plate looking after Roman. See you soon. You're gonna break some hearts in that. I've got one of those myself. Have a great day. It's Nico Bellic. I'm here for an interview. Come in. I'll buzz you through. Welcome to Goldberg, Ligner, hey, and fuck? Scheister, sir. Mr. Bellic, welcome. I'll just see if Mr. Goldberg is available. Mr. Goldberg, Mr. Bellic has arrived for his interview. Okay, great. Uh, tell him to come through to my office. Would you please follow me, Mr. Bellick? Sure. Mr. Goldberg is such a saint. He teaches kids to swim, you know. He's just so warm and giving. All he cares about is making the world a better place. And boy, are you in trouble if you get in his way. I always get nervous before interviews. He's just in here. Don't be nervous. He doesn't bite. Hello, Nico. What's that short for, Nikolai? I'm looking for a man who can get jobs done right. Nikolai, I like your resume. You seem to be the sort of man who would go the extra distance. I just need to take another look. Get myself reacquainted with your experience. Sure, stand up if you want to. Whatever makes you... Whoa, whoa, whoa! Where are the files for your case against McCreary? Shit, they're on my desk. I never hurt anyone. I wouldn't be here if you'd never hurt anyone. Ah, get out of here! <laughs> you didn't see anything, okay? Die. 
Here are the files. Great. Peace at last. I feel cleansed. You silenced Goldberg, too, right? I don't need to worry about him? He's done. Whoa, music to my ears. A weight has been lifted. Here's your payment. Sure, Ma, sure. <laughs> yeah, I've always been a good boy. You know me, Ma. Yes, I'll make commissioner. No, I don't care about Packy. Listen, Ma, I I've got to go. I love you, too. Good to see you. I'm sure. Uh, you know, it's funny, but I see a lot of me in you. You know why? No. You know there's no good. And no evil. Just shades of fucking gray. Whatever. You make things 1% better, that's enough. That's our duty. If you say so. Oh, I do say so. I want to make things a bit better. By any means necessary. And you? What do you want? I want to get paid. Sure. Yeah, sure you do. So listen. I got something I need you to do. This is the last time. Of course. Some drug dealer is holed up in a tower block in East Holland. Now, this scumbag's been pushing drugs, pimping women, you name it, he's done it. I need him dealt with. Isn't that police work? <laughs> sure. <laughs> and the moon is made of cheese and the streets is paved with gold. Wake up! Excuse me? The guy's guilty as sin! He is sin! 
But it'll take me a year to get the evidence. More, maybe. And maybe good men will get taken down by that evidence. <laughs> maybe people make mistakes. But this guy is scum. How much? Oh, how much? Good money. Uh, two G's. Two? You mean five. <laughs> you know, if someone was to tell me you were some fresh off the boat killer with more balls and brains, I'd say he was about right. Uh, okay, you got a deal. Head on up to Vauxite and call me. Five G's. Struggles he went through. Hey, where you going, man? Here we are, man. End of the line. I'm outside the project. Where is he? Should be on the second floor. Keeps an eye on all his boys from up there. The guys you see are gonna be working for that scumbag in one way or another. Anyway, these projects all got the same layout. A staircase leading up on either side. Try to get off the ground floor before getting violent. Violent? Me? Yeah, you. Remember, you're doing a real service for the community by getting rid of this scumbag. Francis McCreary is the community now? You're starting to sound like your friend Manny. Chill. I surrender. You wouldn't kill an unarmed man, would you? This isn't my choice. The police want you dead. Yo, it's that rat cop McCreary, ain't it? You don't like a younger brother with ambition. Tell you what, I'll reform. I get out the game, get a, a GED or some shit, make something of my life. McCreary gonna think I'm dead. Word. Come on, boss. Don't kill me, boss. I'm too young to die. Please. Of here. I see you again. You wish I had killed you now. The 